click OK here and click OK here. And let's say I uh, will go ahead and select this and delete it and get rid of the math region. I'm going to go ahead and type that same thing, slash quadratic. Now you would think, okay, that's going to automatically give me the quadratic formula in text, right? Space, eh, thanks for playing. No, it's just going to say, what do you want? Just slash quadratic, and it's going to be there. And that's going to be the way it is. So in other words, to change that, I need to come back up here. Again, go to my word options. Go to proofing. Select the autocorrect options, and this time I'm going to say use math autocorrect rules outside of the math regions. Now, understand something. When you do this, if there's a conflict between some of the replace and with combinations here in the math area with the ones that are here in the autocorrect area, guess what? Autocorrect wins. See? When math autocorrect rules conflict, autocorrect rules will be used. Now, why would that be a problem? Well, check this out. Remember how we said uh, I I use the uh, uh, greater than bra or less than bracket, the right angle bracket, and the and the equal, and it gives me the greater than or less than and equal. Well, look under autocorrect, and if you scroll down here a little bit, uh oh, see I've got another one here, and this one turns it into an arrow. So what's going to happen? Well, we're going to see here in just a second. So I'll go ahead and click OK, click OK here. And let's see what happens now. Now remember, I, I typed slash quadratic and nothing happened. Let's try that again. Slash quadratic. And this time when I hit space, boom, there it is. The quadratic formula. And of course it gives me my autocorrect options because it did an autocorrect. It's the same thing. And here I can say, well, I'll change it back to the quadratic or stop automatically and then or go to the control of the math autocorrect options. Now here's the other thing. Remember, before, when I hit the right angle bracket here and then uh, hit the equal, it created a greater than or equal to. Not this time. Boom. There it is. It created that arrow that's pointing. Now, you might say to yourself, okay, Chris, what if, what if I don't want it to operate that way? How can I fix that? I don't want the arrow. I just want the greater than or equal to. I mean, that's a, that's a pretty nice feature to use when I'm typing out a text document. Well, in that case, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to remove this particular autocorrect option from this and either do this. Here's a little clue. You can stop automatically correcting this or you can go over to the autocorrect options and then under here you can go ahead and delete this particular one. Now if you delete this one, let's go ahead and delete it. So we're done with that. We click OK and then we come back here and now let's watch what happens. I go ahead and hit the bracket. I hit the equal. Aha! Look what happened. Now it did the greater than or equal to sign. Why? Because there's no longer a conflict between what we saw with the autocorrect and the math autocorrect. So that's how you could do something like that. So if you find yourself using this and it's not the behavior is just not what you're looking for, remember flexibility. That's what Word 2007 is all about. Go back in, change it, and make sure that you're following the rules. And if you need to, just change the rule a little bit, and that way it's going to fit you rather than what Microsoft suggested in the first place. And, I mean, for the most part, you're not going to encounter that. Most people who are utilizing the uh, math are utilizing the math regions because it's so powerful and you can do so many different things with it. By the way, all my engineer buddies, they love the equations and all that stuff. It looks great. They can print out these incredible Word docs and uh, make these manuscripts and documents with all this stuff in. So it's really good that you have autocorrect options for that as well. We're already at the end of our first part of our series on automatic features here in Word 2007, and we've seen two of the most powerful features, but there are more to come. But autocorrect, let's think about it. If you fat finger words a lot like I do, autocorrect is there to come behind you and save the day. If you type in T-E-H and, and you, know, you meant the, it's going to take care of that. Also, for those utilizing the powerful features of the math and equation uh, capabilities of Word 2007, math autocorrect is also going to come in behind you. Now, I, I take a look at some of these math equations and things, and, you know, 
I'd easily make a mistake on most of them, but Math Autocorrect is going to really make sure that you don't make those simple mistakes, and that way when you print that math uh, document out, someone doesn't go, ah, you, you know what, you forgot to add the plus or minus symbol in there in that equation. No problem, it's already been done for you with the Math Autocorrect. I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing. Microsoft Word 2007 Automatic Features Part 2. I don't know about you, but I hate having to do the same thing over and over and over again. And if somebody can do that automatically for me, that makes it even better. Auto Format is going to enable us to do that, as well as if I use a commonly used block of text or a graphic or something like that wouldn't it be better if that's already set up I click a button it's placed and I don't have to do anything hey guess what quick parts and building blocks are gonna help you out some really nifty features that we'll take a look at including auto format just a warning though it's changed a little bit than what you saw in the word 2003 environment but nothing really spectacular it's still a very nifty feature smart tags how we can take data that is recognized by word and then perform an action on it and then of course quick parts and building blocks which are not so much automatic features you still have to do a little work in uh, setting them up but once you get them in place they are automatic going to help you streamline your process. So let's go ahead and show you the auto formatting part of it. Again we have our customer response letter. It's growing and getting better and better as we uh, continue to add more and more information to it. And in this case we went ahead and we said alright we have typed up this letter but what if we want to make it better? Because understand autocorrect deals with a lot of text and spelling and you know whether you want this placed here. Auto formatting deals with things like do you want uh, the uh, the paragraphs, you want white space taken care of, do you want to change uh, fractions to from one slash two into a one half, do you want to use smart quotes, things like that. Now in order to do auto format, again, we're going to go up to our autocorrect options by clicking on the office button, going to word options coming down here to proofing and clicking on autocorrect options. So we recognize that and you can see that we have our autocorrect, our math autocorrect that we've seen, and then we have two buttons uh, that we want to take a look at first. First is auto format itself. Now with auto format, what it's going to do is when, let's say you've gone ahead and you've typed out your letter, you've done a few things, you've made some changes, it's going to go ahead and say, all right, if you want me to do an auto format to your document, I'm going to apply any built-in heading styles. I'm going to automatically take bulleted lists and you know create bullets. The list styles, if I've got them set up for this template, will be in place. And any other paragraph styles that have been placed on this template will be applied to my document. It'll also replace things. It's going to say, you know, straight quotes will have smart quotes, where it knows that, okay, this is the beginning of the quote, so this must be the end of the quote. So it'll do a beginning quote, end quote. Ordinals with superscript, fractions, like I mentioned, with an actual fractional character, hyphens with dashes, bold and italic with real formatting. If you put, you know, star, bold, asterisk, and then italic, it, it'll actually do that for you. Um, it'll go and find that and replace it. And then internet and uh, network pass with hyperlinks. Now, this is an interesting one, and I'm going to show you something that especially on the auto format as you type here. Um, I usually leave this one checked here. I change it over here on the auto format as you type. And the reason why is because you can sometimes be typing and then you know it'll input an actual hyperlink into your document. Now some people like that, some people don't. I take it off the auto format and then if I want to add it later on I just use the auto format button, click it and it goes through and it changes all of them to hyperlinks. It will also preserve any styles that you've put into place and there's a little interesting thing. It'll, it says always auto format any plain text email documents. If uh, Outlook is utilizing Word as its email editor um, you can have it automatically do the automatic, you know, I like that, automatically do the auto formatting for your plain text email documents. So this kind of shows you some of the things that will happen when you hit the auto format button which we'll show you in a minute. But what most people are familiar with is the auto format as you type. So just like the auto correct where if you type certain things it'll go oh I think you meant to do this. For example the, the straight quotes with smart quotes, ordinals with superscript, 
uh, fractions with any fraction characters, the hyphens with the dash. Notice the bold and italic isn't done with real formatting. So if I hit an asterisk, put something, and then add another asterisk, it's not going to do the bolding. It's just going to keep the asterisks on both sides. Internet and network paths with hyperlinks we talked about. It's going to do automatic bulleted lists. We'll talk about bullets and lists in another video, but this shows you how you can do that. It can turn on automatic numbered lists, so that way if you hit one period and then something and you hit enter, it'll go to two. Border lines, that's kind of cool. Yeah, I'll show you how that works. Tables. It'll automatically do the uh, the table uh, production for you. Built-in heading styles. So notice how this is deselected, but yet on auto format, it is selected. So you can make different changes here depending on which one you want to do. And then, of course, format the beginning of list items like the one before it, set left and first indents. These, again, are all things that you can set up to happen automatically as you're typing. And it's not with text and spelling. It's with the formatting of the actual document itself. So what I'm going to do is go ahead ahead and say okay looks good we'll do that we'll click OK and we'll click OK one more time now what's happened is is that I'm gonna go ahead and say I want to maybe add a little bit more to uh, the Jeremy's letter here and so I hit enter twice and I'll say our first and I'm gonna show you how the ordinals work first and then I hit space watch what happens it automatically superscripts it and creates an uh, you know instead of first it's a you know now it's the you know number one with a little uh, superscript but see it's an autocorrect option because I'm using the auto format so it says hey do you want to automatic you know stop this automatically do you want to undo the superscript and notice it's an auto format option this is not an autocorrect function it's auto format so I'll say our first website is www.cbtnuggets.com. Now when I hit space, notice it creates automatically the hyperlink. See, it says control and click will take you and follow that particular hyperlink. And of course, I do have the option, of course, coming down here and turning this off by saying undo the hop hyperlink. Stop automatically creating hyperlinks or control the auto format options. Now you might want to you know, do that only because if you're moving within the document and you're typing this stuff, you might not want it to automatically apply the HTTP colon whack whack uh, you know, for, uh, formatting to this and create the hyperlink. You might want to wait and do that later on. Or maybe you just don't like doing that because it is going to be a printed document, not necessarily an electronic version. Uh, you know, a lot of people will be like, oh, well, what's the difference? Well, if you print it, obviously you can't take your piece of paper and click with your finger and open up a website on your, uh, you know, your uh, actual screen. But if it's a Word document in electronic form on your screen, this will allow you to open up a hyperlink. So if I hit Control and click, it's going to open up cbtnuggets.com in a web browser. So here you go. It says, ah, hey, welcome to CBT Nuggets IT certification training videos. And by the way, a quick plug uh, for my series on Outlook 2007. Make sure that you get a chance to check that out. So anyway, this kind of just shows you how the hyperlink works. Uh, work. So I'll close that and you'll see that it automatically changes the color of the hyperlink just like it would in a uh, website that this link has been visited. It turns to the purple instead of the blue. Now you can of course come back and hit the backspace and it will turn that off or if I retype it in, let's say we do uh, google.com and hit space, I can of course come over here, roll over and say to this you know the the actual auto correct options and say undo hyperlink and it removes that hyperlink i can come back and redo the hyperlink or stop automatically creating hyperlinks now when i do this what i've effectively done is said now is www.google.com and our second and there goes the ordinal again website is www.cbtnuggets.com now when i hit space Notice it didn't do anything. It said, oh, you said to stop doing that. So I can control that. You can also, of course, come up here, go to your Word options, come in here, click on the proofing and autocorrect options, and under the automatic format as you type, you can deselect that here. So th that's another option that you have. Now remember, though, when I did all this formatting and I did some fun stuff with that, I turned this one off. So that's kind of, you know, if I wanted to, 
I can come back and use the auto format button and it will re-add that information because notice it says internet and network pass with hyperlink. So I can come back in and do that. So let me go ahead and click OK. And now I come up here to my quick toolbar, quick access to toolbar, and I've added the auto format button right here.